You've been walking around your New Horizons island, looking at the same villagers every day, listening to the same dialogue they usually spew over and over. You're getting a little bored of them and want to see some new faces around the town. The only way to get someone new is to kick out one of the 10 villagers that are chilling on your island. But it seems like no one ever asks to leave. You can't get a thought bubble to appear above a neighbor's head. On the seemingly rare occasion that it does happen, they're just asking for a fish or a bug or some other request like you purchasing one of their pointless items. It's frustrating and you want to just make them leave. Is there a way to manipulate your villagers to make them leave? What's the quickest way of actually getting them to move out? And is there anything you can do to help them decide to get the heck off your island? I did a video about moving out villagers along with the best way to level up their friendship forever ago. But to reiterate from that video, the stipulations for when a villager can decide to move out were data mined last year and are still true today, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. If you have a new villager move onto your island, there is a 15 day cooldown until another villager will ask to move out. If someone asks to move out and you tell them to stay, there is a 5 day cooldown until another villager will ask to move again, and it won't be the same villager that you just asked to stay. The most recent villager that moved onto your island will never ask to move out. Unless you move in another villager, then they're no longer the newest villager. Then the original new villager is added into the rotation of available neighbors that can get the heck off your island. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into what you can actually do to get these suckers to move on with their lives. If you're not up for time traveling, you just have to wait. That's it. Wait until those 15 days are up and try to find the villager that is walking around with that thought bubble. But what if the bubble's hanging over the head of a villager that you don't want to move out? Do not talk to them. Just let them be. In my experience, I have noticed that if I play long enough in a day, the move out bubble will transfer to one other villager. One day I watched it transfer from Bam to Mary and back to Bam again. I've never seen it go to a third villager, but that doesn't mean it isn't possible. I've only seen it switch between the two different villagers, and if it ends up going to the third, it's usually just a request bubble instead of a move out bubble. Again, this is just my experience from a year and a half of playing. Once you're finished for the day, save and quit like you normally would and wait until tomorrow. If all goes well, a new villager will have the thought bubble. Keep doing this every day until a day when the villager who you actually want to move out has the thought bubble above their head. This is obviously not the quickest way to go about kicking out villagers, but if you don't like time traveling, it's really the only way to do it. Well, except for the amiibo and campsite villagers, but I'll get into those in a sec. So what if you do time travel? The process pretty much works the same way, except instead of having to wait until the next day, you can just time travel to the next day. To start the process, immediately time travel 15 days into the future. That way you're not going day by day waiting to see if a thought bubble shows up. Jumping 15 days will basically ensure a villager will want to move out. If you start the day and it happens to be on someone that you don't want to leave, just time travel ahead another day. Don't worry about waiting around for the other villager to have the thought bubble. You'll most likely be able to time travel your way to their bubble quicker than waiting around and playing normally, and hoping that the option maybe moves to someone else. After time traveling a bit, you should have no problem getting your unwanted villager to move out. But remember, your most recently moved in villager will never ask to leave, unless you utilize the campsite or amiibo mechanic and force them off your island forever. When a campsite villager appears, you have to play a bunch of games with them to convince the visitor that you want to work hard enough to get them to live on your island. The only problem with campsite villagers is that they pick a villager at random to move out. And if it's not the villager you want, you'll have to quit and reset before you continue any further with their dialogue, redo all the games, and hope that they pick someone different the next time. Even with time traveling, this method kind of sucks. <laughs> Though if the campsite villager is someone you want, maybe it's worth your time. The absolute quickest way to get a specific villager to move out is using an amiibo to invite a potential neighbor to your campsite. You do have to spend three days doing quests for them, but once you finish that, then they'll ask you to pick any villager to move out, including your most recent villager. This is the fastest way to move someone out and invite a new villager in. But if you don't have your dream as amiibo, then you'll have to deal with one of the previous methods of kicking out villagers. This process can be a pain, but at least we have a process. Past games didn't let us villager hunt after a neighbor asked to leave. And sometimes that villager just left randomly without any warning and all you got was a letter in your mailbox letting you know that you won't see them ever again. 
As much as the mechanic of villager hunting can be a little bit of a pain, the fact that we have something new to have fun with is a plus. I feel like villager hunting is the one thing we have left that keeps me attached to my neighbors. I'm very glad that Nintendo added the new villager hunting mechanic, even if we don't use it the way that they intended. Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to spend 2700 tickets to find Lolly, but you know what? You do what you gotta do. I think the community has figured out a fun way to keep the game interesting for everyone a year and a half later. And we get some cute villagers to boot. What's your go-to way of kicking out a villager? Let other people know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.